I'm sorry, now I'm restarting. I hit the button by mistake. We have a refrigerator. Can't get far enough back for it. Refrigerator in its own nook. An open pantry. Slider doors have been moved, removed. Upper cabinets, microwave, pass through window for the over the sink to go into the enclosed back lanai, the countertop, the bottom cabinets and drawers. All tile. I said back to the ceiling. Minor work is there from when they had taken down the recessed lighting and replaced with fan. An air vent. Now we are at the back sliding glass doors, and I am turning around, walking into the front great room of the house or living room. Still, tile floor. These are the big square tiles. The kitchen tiles are different, but same, different shape, but same color. Needs a new paint job in here. You have a ceiling fan, you know, a tile floor, another wall, another back living room wall. The front windows are actually a view into the uh, screened atrium, I would uh, call it. Three pass through windows into an enclosed screen atrium. Your front door, as I turn around from the front door, you'll have another look of the living room area from the farthest corner. There is the whole living room. Hi, Naomi. It's your whole living room. Directly in from the front door, you have a louver closet with your air conditioner system in there. Air conditioner system. Also storage for shelvings and vacuum cleaner. It is still all the same tile. Uh, through into a hallway. Into a hallway. As you can see. That's, that is the living room into the hallway, AC return in the hallway. Inside the hallway, we have another little storage uh, closet. This is the front bedroom. Floors were self done, laid over flat concrete and needs to be redone. Planks are, are loose and you can see some uh, warping of them because they were done by themselves and not installed properly. You have two side-by-side -side, uh, his and her closets. Now it's one. Oh. It's, it's actually one big closet but with just a divider for the doors. Looking in the closet, there we go, all the way down. Cable outlet in the closet there. So, from the front entrance of the front bedroom door, there's your two closets. You have a window that actually shows out of the front yard. It shows the side of the garage and the street 
in the yard. You know, so you have a view from this window, an unobstructed view. Now we're going back out of the first bedroom, down the hallway, and immediately to your left, we have another smaller bedroom. Same kind of problem with the floor, self-done wood flooring. Eh, small room, but big enough for queen and dressers and stuff. A nice fan, uh, a window, unobstructed view of the road and side yard. And this is your view from the window. Same thing as the closet in the other room. It has two bifold doors on each side, but it is a solid full shelf and clothes rod all the way between. Well, once again, I repeat, the floor was laid by itself, by, by themselves, on top of flat concrete with no skim coating or glue. I can see the tongue and groove wasn't even uh, pressed in together. So that's two, two bedroom floors need to be replaced. Now I'm going back out into the hallway. There's your AC return and I'm making a left and we are going into the first bathroom, which is for the two bedrooms in the main house. It has been an updated vanity, semi-updated bathroom, not my uh, color choice. A little bit of water damage there that needs to be inspected. Um, a kind of dropped recessed lighting with an air conditioner vent. And a newer mirror toilet vanity has been updated.